Hello. Let's take a look at the login timeout for CAPC. By default, when you log into the CAPC GUI, the um, login timeout has a 20 minute idle timeout on it. So, what that means is if you log in and then you are inactive for 20 minutes, um, it will basically log you out. Um, it's not 20 minutes from the time that you log in, but rather 20 minutes of idle time. Okay, um, we can modify that and control it to more or less. In my environment, I need more time because it's not uncommon for me to just get sidetracked and uh, leave the GUI for some time, in which case it hangs on me because I get logged out. So the way we're going to handle that is using a tool called SSO config, and that lives in the CAPC home directory. So first we'll see where we are, and then we'll um, CD to the PC home directory, and I just make a shortcut for that. The default is opt CA um, performance center. So we'll do a PWD and we'll see that we're an opt CA performance center. If we do a long listing, um, we'll see that the tools we want are included in here and we're going to use SSO config. Okay. So we'll call that with a dot slash. And the first choice we get is what do we want to configure? We want to consider the CA Performance Center, so that's option one. And then the choices are what do we want to configure on the CA Performance Center, and in this case we'll be modifying the single sign-on or option four. Um, and if we scroll down in the list here we'll see that the cookie timeout in minutes is 20 minutes, and that's the value that we're going to change. Okay. Um, we want to do a local override in this case. The difference between remote value and a local override is if you use a remote value, that value will be pushed out to all of the machines in your environment, and a local override will only affect this machine. Since in our case there's only one CAPC in the environment, we're going to do a local override, so we'll use option two. Um, now we see our choices, and um, the choice we're going to use is cookie timeout minutes, which is option six. And you have to take a minute and actually read this. What it's telling you um, is if you want to make a change, you have to either use R to reset, to put it back to original, or U to update. And so we're going to put in U rather than the new value. Now we can put in the new value, and as I say, it's by default 20 minutes, and I'd like to make it 50 minutes so that it doesn't idle out on me. Okay, and then um, we can actually see it here. Right now it's been set to 50 minutes. By default it was 20 minutes before. And to get out of this, we just type Q. And then just to be safe, we're going to go back in, and we're going to double check what we've set. Option 1 for the Performance Center, Option 4 for Single Sign-On, and we see our being loaded up. And we see our cookie timeout value in minutes is now 50. So we have successfully set our timeout and modified it according to our plan. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of how you do it. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful. For more detailed information about CA Performance Center, and the timeouts in the CAPC control GUI. Click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there you can go to product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.